So I just wanted to do a quick video on the Leatherman Free T4 that I got to do a review on. I've been using it for about uh, four weeks now, three to four weeks, um, most days. Um, so I, I think I've got a pretty good idea of it so far. Uh, and I like it uh, for the most part. A few, a few things I don't, uh, but in general I do. So just kind of a general overview um, of the multi-tool we'll go over. It is, I'm going to bring that a little bit closer. Uh, it is made in the USA. It has 12 tools. The blade, main blade, is 420 HC. It is locking, which I like. It's not a slip joint like uh, a lot of the Swiss Army knives, which this is really uh, fulfilling a function of uh, in replace of uh, Swiss Army knives I, I think is what a lot of people are going to use this for uh, because it has a lot of tools like the Swiss Army but they're lacking which is which is great so anyway it's like I said 420 HC uh, knife blade uh, spring action scissors which I'll open here you just push they're kind of stuff still they don't they're not really broken in just yet, but they do work good. Um, let me show you that again. So you push that up and push the others down. And they're spring action. I actually really like these scissors. I don't like the scissors on most uh, multi tools, including most other Leathermans, but I think they actually really stepped up uh, and made a better set of scissors than even, I know, on the Wave. I don't like the waves ones uh, because they're so small and they're really kind of pain to get to. I, I never use them. So anyway, to unlock it, push that, pull back, and we'll go down. Um, you got that. You got the bottle opener, of course. Let's see here. Wrong side. There we go. So we've got the bottle opener uh, right here, along with the uh, Phillips screwdriver. You got pry tool. We'll close this. It's on the side, actually, the knife blade. It's the pry tool flat head slash. I guess that's the medium screwdriver flathead uh, pry tool and the package opener uh, on this side of it it is let me see if I can zoom in a little it is sharpened uh, just on that bevel there um, got the all open that up it's on the side with the Phillips so it's the all it is sharpened at the end at a bevel, and it's also the small flathead screwdriver as well. You also got the file, which I know a lot of people have complained about. Um, it's not it's not a real big deal for me. I, I don't really use the file all that much anyway. If I did, it would probably be an issue, but I don't. Um, so you have the, the wood file uh, and the metal file. Um, it is a lot shorter than it is on the Wave, uh, decreases functionality, but like I said, if, if it's not your main thing uh, that you're going to be using, it's not a big deal. It's there if you need it, but not bad. also has the medium uh, or smaller screwdriver on the end flat bit. Let me see if I forgot anything else. I think that's it. Um, oh, no, of course. Tweezers stuck here on the front. It's actually really useful. It's one of the biggest reasons I like this. Um, you know, the Swiss Army knives are notorious for having the tweezers, which come in useful. I don't really use the uh, toothpick, um, but the tweezers really come in useful. It's nice uh, that they're kind of stored in here and not on the end, like in the scales, because uh, those tend to break or come out. So, so anyway, close length on this is. 3.60 inches thickness is 0.63 inches 
blade length is 2.20 inches and the weight that I got previously is 4.3 in, uh, ounces which isn't bad uh, the wave I believe is about 8 point something ounces so it's half of that and it has pretty much all the functionality uh, ex excluding the, the bit set and all that um, except the pliers and the can opener I believe so it's a pretty pretty good package here without all the extra weight and bulk you know if you're not going to be using those two things uh, significantly so anyway I wanted this to be a working review as mentioned in the title so we'll do some work with it got a board here I want to test out the screwdrivers I'm going to test out the big flat screwdriver first or the pry tool also known as let me make sure this is still recording and it is so let's see how this does I'm gonna stand up for this make it a little bit easier to get to so while it works it would not be fun to sit here and put a lot of screws in or screws out of by any means. Uh, it's decently comfortable other than right there you can see it's kind of digging into my hand uh, but because it has a package opener on here it actually kind of keeps slipping out of the flathead groove. So let's check out the medium screwdriver flathead. I'm going to do it on a Phillips because I couldn't find a uh, small flathead uh, screw. I love Phillips screws. I don't like flathead screws at all because they always slip off anyway. Um, so this is pretty easy being it as a Phillips. So I'm using the flathead screwdriver, but it's Phillips screw. They're, they're a lot more effective, I think. So now that, let's actually take one of these out using that. And it's just as easy. It's not bad at all if you just had a screw to take out or fix a, you know, a toy or something like that. Let's switch over and actually use the Phillips bit. And we'll take this one out with it. And this Phillips bit actually works really well. I like it. Gets the job done, no problem. The only other one on here, I believe, is the small screwdriver and will it work for this one it won't because it's too big let's see if it'll work for this one it will just barely i didn't have a teeny tiny flat screw to use so i'm using this one kind of awkwardly but it worked so but anyway the small flat screwdriver would work well um, no problems there. It actually bent the end of it. Shows barely, you can see. Hopefully, maybe. Right up here. So, yeah, while uh, the flat screwdriver works, I don't know that I would give it much torque, obviously. Looks like it's not holding up to it very well. Um, this is also the awl, so let's dig a hole here. I'm going to do it off to the side so you can see actually what gets dug. And for that same reason that it just bent the end of the awl slash small screwdriver uh, when I was undoing one screw, um, we'll see how it does on this, but I don't know that I would be trying to awl into hardwood or anything like that. Um, the edge of the awl is also sharpened, if you're wondering about that. Let me show you here on this edge. Right there. So it does work pretty well. It would work well for leather as it's digging through this wood uh, pretty easily. So I'm going to take this and measure it for you here. It dug in that far in the amount of time I've done. So. It's a decent all. 
as you know, no multi-tool can replace really a separate tool. Uh, they're meant to get a job done, but it may not be the most effective way or the easiest way, but they get it done. So let's get that out of the way. Let's test out this blade. So all in all, I like this uh, multi-tool. It's a good small package, um, but my real only complaint is this blade. The blade's too small. It's kind of an odd shape. Um, it's not the best cutter. Let's cut some strips here of cardboard. It tends to tear things. Um, it's just, it's not my favorite. Um, Leatherman has some odd blade shapes, but they're fitting it in the multi-tool. You know, that's why they're doing it. Um, but it's not my favorite blade shape. I'm going to cut it down here. I just want to put it on top of the ruler. See how it does cutting this way? And it actually cuts a lot better. So, you know, doing this, not bad for cutting. But cutting as you normally would, you know, through some cardboard or trying to get slices, not so much. But this way, it's not bad. So you just have to be aware of that when you're using it. Um, you know, some people might find that a downfall, some people might not. Um, I don't really, because the rest of the tool in, in general, I think it's a great tool. Um, but that is my main complaint is that blade. Not a fan of it. Um, let's cut a little bit of cord with this. This is some glow in the dark cord. It's it's not quite paracord, it's actually a little thicker, but we use it for tie downs um, in the truck and trailer and that type of stuff, uh, just for scrap cord, pretty much. But it's pretty tough, pretty tough stuff. So, it has no problem cutting through that. It's, you know, it's pretty sharp. Um, cardboard, though, it, it doesn't seem to do well with. Um, this is some paracord. And it does pretty well through it. You have to kind of rock it back and forth, but it is a short blade, so. But that was okay. Um, let's get some paper. Let's see how just paper does. factory blade on it. I just sharpen it just a hair with a, um, a ceramic rod to kind of get any burrs that might have been built up over the last few weeks. Um, and it's okay. It's, it's, like I said, it's just not the best cutter. I found a little place where it's cutting smooth. Um, so, but all in all, the blade's okay. Before we get to that, let's do this. This is one of these hose clamps. Um, I use these a lot. So I figure I would show you how well they do or don't do with it. So this is with the flat screwdriver slash pry tool. Oh, almost stabbed myself in the hand. So it works pretty well. You just have to be aware of that. You know that it may slip off and get you. Um, but otherwise, it works pretty well. You know, I think this is a fairly common thing that a lot of people would use this for. You know, you're not going to run back to a truck or garage or something like that to, you know, loosen or tighten one of these if, if, you're not, it's, if it's not needed, if you have this tool in your pocket. Um, but this is the type of stuff that it's really made for, I think. So it works good with that. Let's use the um, clamshell opener or package opener. It's on the pry bar portion. Let me make sure we're still recording. And we are. Um, so I didn't have a clamshell to open package. Um, so I'm gonna use this uh, plastic bottle for the hot tub. It's about the same thickness. Actually, it might be a hair thicker than clamshell. I think it is. So it'll be interesting to see. Let's see. So I'm gonna poke it in there and slice. I'm gonna stand up here. Let's try it one more time. So poke. 
So it works okay. You got to kind of get that corner though. Let's see. Putting quite a bit of pressure on this. Eh, I don't know. So you can see it sliced it. I don't get these. I, I, I have no use for it. And I'm going to use a knife blade to open a, you know, a package, a clamshell thing, you know, any of those things. Uh, stab it in and cut it. And if you need to be careful about cutting yourself, then be careful. Don't use that little clamshell opener thing to do it. They never work. So that is my second complaint about it. Clamshell opener thing. They don't make any sense. I never, never understood them and don't use them. Um, let's do this next. I'm going to cut a couple of them, uh, zip ties using the blade, and then I'll use the scissors on one. Cut flat down. And these are pretty thick uh, zip ties. So, work well for that one. I'm going to put it in here and then twist it for this one. It tends to work really well for all zip ties on, with any blade doing it this way. You can dull knives because you're getting so much leverage. And then we'll use scissors on one. Um, a lot of people use the scissors for this, I guess. I, I never have, I just use a knife blade, but it works well. First time ever using a pair of scissors on a zip tie like that though, gotta admit. So anyway, all right, uh, let's do the file. Let's see, on there. I'm just gonna file the end of this board with the wood file. You can see it's creating quite a few shavings already. And actually, cut super quick. Yeah, pretty useful. We'll use the metal one on this old hatchet. See if we get any shavings. A few, not much. Um, you know, if you had to get a little burr off something, it'd be worth it. But other than that, um, I'm not going to use this metal file. Honestly, you'd be sitting here uh, the rest of the year trying to sharpen this with it. So just using it as, used it as an example, but yep, won't be using that on it. Let's do the last thing, um, paint can opener. I, I'll use this a lot on this. We, we do a lot of painting projects. So uh, this is the large flathead slash clamshell opener slash pry tool. Uh, and it works really well. I've used this more than anything uh, the last couple weeks. Opens that easy peasy, not a problem at all. That's probably my probably my favorite uh, tool on this thing. I'm gonna close this back up here. All right. So that is it. Uh, working review on the Leatherman Free T4. Um, if you have any questions, as always, please let me know. Otherwise, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.